Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can fix this IP. You don't have valid IP configuration, so let's get started how you can fix it. So the first thing that we have to do is to go to start. Then right click it once and and go to power options. After that, go to this related settings in additional power settings here and after that we go to choose what the power button do and then click on this you have to uncheck this this turn on turn, turn it turn it off and save changes and after that we just close just make sure check again make sure it's turned off after this is turned off you just go and close after you confirm that it's off close everything and now restart your pc and see if it does if it is still the problem there if it's still the problem persists go to the next method the next method is to reinstall the network adapters is again go to right click on start button here and go to device manager and after you are here go to network adapters here and you will see a bunch of these ones so if you have Wi-Fi, if it's the problem with wireless, uninstall the wireless. If it's the problem with the uh, LAN cable, just uninstall this Realtek PC family controller. For me, this is my driver that I need to uninstall. So just press right click on it and go to uninstall, drive, uninstall device. And here click on uninstall. After that, just restart your PC and see if it works if it still does not work then you can restart your router and see and check the cables maybe the cables are a problem and maybe it's not your pc so just make sure to be safe that your router is working i suggest you to take from a friend or family member who has who has a virus router and plug it in and see if it's the router that is causing the problem or it's just the pc so the next thing is to manually search for drivers or to go win with Windows updates. So to manually search for them is you have to know your motherboard for your PC. So you have to download this program, this CPU-Z. And you go to this to mainboard after you install the CPU-Z. And here you will see your model of the motherboard. So just remember that number. And now we go to our browser you, it can be any browser doesn't matter and go on google so here just put your in google just put your number mother bar number for me it's h61 vg3 and brand name is azrock and just go in search and here you will see the searches for your motherboard here is mine a h 61 mvg3 so i'm gonna click on it so make sure there are the official sites like asrock.com asus.com or many more you know manufacturers make sure that is the right one so you don't download any viruses from the internet and then after that it should be about the same on all manufacturers so for here go scroll down until you see something like support or download as is support for example here i'm gonna click on support and then click on download and here you choose your operating system and from here now you will need a lan lan driver here's mine for my for my uh, motherboard so you just click on that so i'm gonna click on to download it
and it should be downloading and as you can see it's downloading and then just enter this and you will install it as you can see here setup.exe and from here you just install the program the driver that you need for your motherboard so i'm just not gonna install it because i already have but you have to install it if it doesn't work for you and that's pretty much it for this video if you want more content like this subscribe of course and see you in the next video bye